founded and energized New Mexico Project's social and natural science nexus. We combine the research and skills from an interdisciplinary team into what is called the system dynamics model. My current research is focused on the impacts of natural gas development on water resources in northwestern New Mexico. By combining information on geology, hydrology, and historic production, we can better understand the relationships and the trade-offs between natural gas production and water resources. How will you figure out how much natural gas we need or want? I am using data from 1973 to 2016 in order to estimate the production of natural gas using information such as wealth location, the price of natural gas, and technological changes. Um, I'm dealing with a huge data set that has 32 million observations in it and I need to figure out a way to make computer system work for this analysis. This model is going to be incorporated into another model uh, with which we are going to know how the production of natural gas is changing over time. Well, I'm doing a similar analysis for the number of jobs and demand for natural gas in parts of New Mexico, particularly rural area, many people are employed in the energy industry. So we need to be sure we have included the impacts of natural gas on the economy, jobs, and the state budget. What about the whole idea of different types of renewable energy? I have been working on figuring out a way to incorporate this into the model. Uh, in fact, I have been looking at a few different methodologies to see how the number of jobs and uh, revenue to New Mexico would change if we were to incorporate more of solar and wind energies. All these have different impacts on air and water quality. Can you tell me more about that? We are looking at some air quality information from various parts of the state and working to incorporate them into the model. I'm also working on finding the impact of pollution on infants. So Katie mentioned the effect of energy on water supply. Would you please expand on this? I'm using historic water data from 1975 to the present to develop a statewide water budget model. This model will be coupled with other energy, natural, and social components to allow for future simulations and scenario testing. I'm working on a method to estimate evaporation in the model. The amount of evaporation is often thought to be small, but across large areas it really adds up. It adds up, in fact, a dozen times more water than all the uses in the state. We're trying to obtain accurate data to learn how climate change and land use changes will impact evaporation. Additionally, I've been focusing on the geographic aspect of the model and also working on a method to communicate results to the public. But how did this fit into the economic work your colleagues were discussing before? Well, I'm working on a model to determine the price of groundwater. water. The whole idea is that as more water is taken from the underground aquifer, the more expensive it is to withdraw because more energy is needed to pull it from a deeper level. If the price of water rises, then we should expect to see that farmers will plant higher belly crops to offset this increased cost. What kind of policy scenarios do you anticipate being run through the model? We are conducting a survey to explore how New Mexicans feel about energy topics. We plan to use these results along with discuss policy changes to find interesting scenarios. That all sounds very interesting. Thanks to everyone.